got to give me the frisbee. If you want me to throw it, you got to give it to me. Come on. You want me to throw it? You want me to throw it? Hey, hey, hey. Come on, Pidgey. Set. Good boy. Drop. Drop. I just want to throw it because Henry's right behind him. Up, up, up. Henry, come on. Henry. Henry. Up, up, up. Come on. Up. Hey, everyone. Today on Garden Fork is truck repair day. Um, or maybe frisbee day. I don't know if you've noticed, but the uh, the truck kind of the back end of the truck always tilts down to one side, and it's not the springs that are broken. Excuse me. Come here. So it's not the spring that's broken; it's the bracket that holds the spring to the frame of the truck. It's called a sometimes called a shackle bracket. So this is an 82 Ford F-150, so it's an old truck, meaning every time you crawl underneath it, you're going to get filthy. So wear your safety equipment because your head is going to get full of dirt. And we'll show you how to do this. This is really simple. If you have an older truck, you probably already know how to do this, but it might be a little entertaining to watch you uh, watch me fix my truck. All right? Things to remember, eye protection and ear protection because we're using power tools. I put on these latex gloves because we have to go to a cocktail party tonight. They want me to throw the frisbee and fix the truck. So we're going to crawl into the truck, get extra sawzall blades because you're going to need those. We're going to have to cut off the shackle bolt and we're going to have to grind off the chassis bolts and that's going to take a while. So, so here we go. I feel like I'm like the spaceman lying down here or something. This is your shackle bracket. This is what's broken. Up here is a leaf spring with a connection to the shackle bracket. And the shackle bracket used to be connected to the frame right here. So we have to take these bolts off and we have to take this big bolt off as well. So I have to cut the bolt on this side where the nut is so we can drive the bolt out that way to where Midge and Henry await. Oh, Do you want me to throw this? Let me throw this. They'll do this all day. Ow, that's really hot. These uh, saw blades for our saw, they wear out very quickly. So if you see here, this is only after a couple of minutes. So you're gonna go through a number of blades just to get this bolt off. So the beauty of this kind of blade is when you bend the blade, you just give it a twist and it's marginally straight again. And you just keep on using this until you break all the teeth off. So we cut that through. That's a beautiful thing. Now we got to get the bolt out. Wow. That came out really easy. So this is the bolt. This is the bushing. And this was the nut, but just look how deteriorated that is. There's no way we could have got that off without a sawzall. To get these bolts off, we're gonna have to grind them off because there's no way you can get a wrench on those anymore. Here we go. That bolt there is what we gotta get out. Yeah, don't mind me, I'm just under the truck.
That's pretty good. So now we'll go to the other side and try and pull these out. Alright, so I got the chisel up under here. Oh, and there we go. Look at that. Ow! Uh. Alright, that's number two. So we're just going to have to whack these with a hammer and try and drive them out. Let's see if I can get this to move. All right. These are my trusty assistants. You guys want to help me? We've got to put the bushings in now. Are you gonna, can you do that with me? Okay, so we finally got the four bolts out. So this is going to be easy now. We put the bushings into the spring. We connect the, uh, oh, the shackle bracket to the spring. And we have to jack the frame up a little bit just to drop it right in the right spot. We put the bolts through under the frame. And we're done. Right guys? These are your parts. This is your shackle bracket here. These are your bushings. And then we have some new bolts. Let's put it all together. So here we go. So now we need to raise the body of the bed up to back to where it's supposed to be because that's where the shackle bracket lines up. Okay, so we got the shackle bracket lined up with the bushings. That goes in. The trick now is that we got to get this spring in the shackle bracket to line up with those holes there. And there's some tension on the spring here, so we're going to have to play with this for a while. Midge is uh, helping me fix the truck now. I got the shackle bracket in the leaf spring and I'm lining up the four holes of the shackle bracket to the four holes in the chassis here. So I just gotta move it around a lot. Put them in. Line that up. Our bolts are in. Very nice. There we go. What is that? Look at that. Nice and level. Alright, so there you go. That's how you fix the shackle bracket on your 82 Ford F-150. Hey! Um, if you ever want to do that kind of thing. It's, uh, it took a lot longer than uh, what's going to show on our little episode. Hello? Hello? Anyway, thank you to my trusty assistants here. And uh, visit our website, gardenfork.tv. Check out our other show, realworldgreen.com. And send us emails. Tell us your friend. Tell, tell us your friends. Tell us about your friends. Tell us what you think of the show. And we'll see you later. All right? You want me to throw that? Bring it here. Come on, bring it here. <laughs>